Hello everyone, in this video we will talk about installing a C or C++ compiler for Windows. So for installing that compiler, we will go to msys2.org. So let me type msys2. As you can see, I am in my browser right now. So let us go to that website, msys2. So it will show us many options. So the, this will be www.msys2.org. So let's go to that website. So I am in that website right now. and as you can see, here is this installation option, download the installer. So I will install this one for Windows 64-bit .exe file. So as you can see, it is will it will get installed. So let's meet after the installation. So it has installed in my machine. So let me show you that. So here it is, the .exe file. Let's click it. So I've clicked it, the window has popped up. So let's click next, again next. So error is shown, it is because I have already the software installed. So I will just have to change the path. So let me name it msys, it is 64, let me name it msys2. You can name whatever you like, no problem. Let's click next, keep on doing next and then it will finish. Let it finish. So it has now finished. So let's click on this finish button. So as you can see now I have got the msys2 terminal. So from this terminal, I will install the GCC compiler. So for that, I need to give it a command. So let me paste the command. So this is the command. Let me press enter. So it will get installed. Uh, proceed with installation. Give e Y or yes. It will install. Let's meet after the installation. So the installation has finished. So now I need to copy the path of a certain directory and put it as an environment variable. So for that, I will go to the C drive. So now I am in my C drive. So remember, I gave the name as msys2, the directory name. So let's go there. And here, go to the ucrt64 directory. From here, go to the bin directory and copy this path. Now I need to edit the environment variables. So for that, click the Windows button and search for environment variables. Here I've got that option. So now go to this environment variables and click on path and click on new. So paste what we have copied. So I have pasted it and click OK. OK. So now I am done with putting it as an environment variable. Now I have pasted it as an environment variable. So now let me run a code. So I will go to VS code. And I have this file test.cpp. Oh, sorry. Let me enlarge it. This is fine. So I have this file test.cpp. So now let's first open the terminal. New terminal. Let me enlarge it. Wait. So now I am in this path, as you can see. So I will check my G++ version. Type this command to see the G++ version installed. So you can see that this is what it is saying built by msys2 project. So I have a I have the compiler installed. Let's code. So first include iostream. Include iostream input output stream. Then using name space std, the standard template for this CPP program. Then int main. Then I will just see out something. So let's see out five. Okay return zero. Now let me save it and I will compile it through this command g++ the name of my file test.cpp test.cpp dash o and the name of the executable file that I want. You can name it anything and I am naming it test.exe. So I have compiled it. Let's run it. To run it you just need to put the path. So let me put the path of the executable file dot exe and press enter, it should output 5. So as you can see, I have got 5 as the output. So now we, we have also compiled and run our code through this compiler. So basically we are done with installing the compiler. You can run both C and CPP files through this compiler. Thank you for watching this video and please comment on what videos you want next. Thank you.